Hi! Welcome back to my kitchen. This is Cooking with Lisa and today we're going to put together and make some homemade granola. So let me talk about the ingredients first. We're going to need a bunch of ingredients. It's very easy to make. We're going to start with rolled oats, one cup, two cups of sliced almonds, a half a cup of chopped walnuts, a half a cup of pignoli nuts, one teaspoon of sea salt, this is the pink sea salt. We're going to use some unsweetened coconut flakes. We also need about a half a cup of this and we should cut it because the flakes are large. Coconut oil and honey, both of them a quarter cup. And lastly, two tablespoons of pure maple syrup. So it sounds like a lot of stuff, but you know, it's granola and uh, we need it to be um, tasty, nutty, crunchy, slightly sweet. Um, you can use any nuts that you want. I'm using walnuts and pinoli, but you could use pecans or um, you don't have to include the coconut or you could do, you could generally do a mix, but in general, you do need the oats and some, some stuff to actually make the granola, the crunchy bits. All right, we're going to put together everything. The rolled oats in a bowl, the sliced almonds. The almonds make a really good base. Walnuts, chopped. I like pinoli nuts, I like the size of them, I like the taste of them, so I use, I'm using pinoli this time. Okay, this is the flaked coconut, it's unsweetened. It comes in these like ribbons from inside the coconut, but you have to cut it down because we're gonna mix it all together and you don't want any large pieces when you're taking a bite. Okay, and the salt. Seems like a lot, but it really, it makes a lot, so the salt is not the biggest amount. Okay, the coconut oil, honey, and syrup. The oil just gives it a little bit of viscosity. The honey and the syrup are your natural sweeteners. I'm gonna just put it all in. One. This way. Two. Oh, with the, with the coconut oil, it comes in jars. And it's white, but it has a low melting temperature. So you just have to put it into the microwaves for a small amount of time, maybe 30 seconds, so that it becomes liquidy and clear. So look, that's everything in there. So now we're just gonna mix it all together, all of it. Very easy. It smells good already. Okay. Make sure that all of the pieces are coated. The honey and the syrup make it sticky and the coconut oil allows you to mix things. It gives it that little bit of slipperiness so you can mix it up and coat everything. Make it delicious. All right. And it looks like you can eat it right now, but the beauty of granola is that it has that toastiness. So next, what you're going to use is a cookie sheet, which I've lined with foil. And we're going to take all of this goodness, this healthy goodness, and we're going to scoop it out onto your tray. And then we're going to flatten it. Spread it out evenly on the tray. A little bit at a time, push it around. It's already mixed. You just have to get it thinned out as much as possible that you, you, know, that you can on the tray. Because the next step is to put it in the oven. 
So when you're making um, a recipe that requires toasted nuts, you can put put it in a frying pan and you, the nuts will toast, but you're always wary of that like line with the temperature. And it becomes burned all of a sudden. So what an easy way to do it is put it into the oven. So now this is flat and all spread out so that when I put it in the oven, which is 275, for 30 minutes, it'll bake in there and it'll toast. And this, the lightness of what this looks like becomes a toasty color. That's how you're gonna know that it's finished. And also, your house is gonna smell wonderful. So, put some air in here. I'm just gonna put it into my oven, 275 for half an hour. Okay. This one was already in here cooking for that long and you could see the difference in color. It is toasty. You can eat it just like that. All right, but we're not finished here. This is not the finished product. We're going to be using our hands and we're going to be Um, putting it away for safekeeping. But before we do that, actually, I'm getting mixed up here, we're going to put it back into the bowl just for a moment. Okay, so the reason why I use foil is because it is soft and melty and sticky all at the same time. So, what you do is you get it off of the foil as much as possible. You might have to scrape it. And we're going to take all of this deliciousness, put it into the bowl, and we're not really done making it. Um, so now this is just with the nuts, with the honey and the oats, and uh, we're going to add a little bit of sweetness to it. So just taking all of our thought, but there you go. If it's not toasted in a half an hour, you can leave it in there a little bit longer. So I'll just do a small amount right now. You see how that looks? But we're gonna add a couple things to it to make it even better. I chopped up some apricots. These are the, uh, the dried apricots. And we're gonna, since it's not the entire recipe, I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. And we're going to mix that up nicely. So every now and then when you're eating, you're going to come across a juicy piece of fruit. It could be cranberries, which was another one I was going to work on. Cranberries. It could be raisins. It could be dates. It could be anything. And also, I have this that I usually add because my father likes it. But this is 85% uh, cocoa. When you have the dark chocolate, this is chocolate, obviously. When you have the dark chocolate and it's 70% or above, it's actually good for you. It's not wonderful, but it's good for you. So I'm gonna add a little bit of chocolate to that too. And that's the granola. That's what I'm making right there. Okay, so there you go. That's the finished product. In order to keep it, I have this jar and I fill it up. I put it in here, I seal it shut, and we use it to um, put on top of things. Or when the holidays come around, I usually make a couple of these. I put a big bow on it and I give it as a gift because everybody has those people that you never know what to give and homemade gifts are really nice. And lastly, I'm gonna just do a quick demonstration right here of how to use it. Like if you're gonna have a light breakfast. This is vanilla yogurt which 
we like, but you could use ice cream. You could put granola on your fruit in the morning. You could just eat it plain. Here are some raspberries. This is a great breakfast. And I put it in a pretty bowl, but it could be in a coffee cup. And lastly, a little bit of the granola. A little piece of chocolate right on top. And that's it. So, lost my spoon, but enjoy. Lost my spoon. Anyway, here you go. Crunchy granola that we made, that you're going to be making, over some vanilla yogurt and raspberries. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. I want you to uh, go to the Glen Cove Library uh, YouTube page and watch other demonstrations. And we also have a story time uh, when you get a chance. Thank you. Have a good day.